Hello and welcome back to Scatterbrook Farm Garden Designs. Okay, um, I've had a couple of uh, messages. Um, one of the messages was, um, could I possibly do a design uh, which incorporates the uh, valley decorations? You know, the little statues and, and things like that. Um, so I'm going to take you down. I've done a design. Uh, it was another crate. Never. Oh, it did win. <laughs> right okay so we're going to take you down to this now this is a design that i've done um for the valley decorations now depending on how many uh valley decorations you've got obviously if you've got more you can extend this feature up into this area or wherever you decide to have it on you know on your farm uh, that accommodates uh, five there obviously this one here in a valley decoration because i haven't got a lot of valley decorations so i've just used those ornaments there just as a as a marker just for you to see so what we've done there is just added a little bit of wall around the back a bit of color and a palm tree at the back kind of either side of the wall and then some yellow roses just around the front <laughs> so we've kept them identical that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. This one I've just put a couple of plinths either side and a couple of palm trees just to fill into the towards the middle. And then we've got like a little path effect there that you can walk around. Um coming from the from the roadside. So you can walk all around the garden there. And then I've edged it out with some daffodils and short bushes there around the outside just to just to continue the green and the yellow around the uh, around the outside and then all i've done then is just added some trees green leafy trees on the edges um so other than that you know unless you sort of put the valley decorations sort of dotted around your farm in different parts of the farm if you like them all together you know, that's that's a design that i've come up with that's quite nice um and like i said if you've got all the decorations you can sort of extend this all the way up you know you just continue it as i've got it up there which is quite nice that's quite a nice decoration there especially on the corner with uh, your valley decorations some of the valley decorations are two by two rather than what you know one square for example the the balloon there is two by two so there's a, i think there's a couple but you can just sort of <laughs> You can adjust it to how, how you want. But I just thought I'd give you a general idea of what you could do to make those little statues stand out in their own little area with a little garden footpath that you can walk round and a bit of colour added to it. So that's the design then for a um, for the valley decorations. It's quite nice. Okay, now the other one um, was could I do a animal pen design make it a little bit more a little bit more interesting you know rather than have the animal pens all closed up together and you see so so many of them on the farms and that that are all sort of together and like this you know and they're just a little bit of an eyesore aren't they when they're when they're all clumped up another crate oh um so we will go for uh we'll do a, li a live design and we'll do it as we go um and we'll try and make these animal pens look really really nice um like i said there's not a lot you can do with them you just sort of decorate around them but we'll have a little go and see how we how we uh how we get on okay then so what we want then we want a bit of height at the back so we'll always start with the back there so we go to trees we go to leafy trees we go for the dark leafy tree i think we'll go for so we'll put that in the middle of every pen oh 
another about the Olympics now. Okay. And we get the branches to go right. Okay. So now what we want, we want a medium conifer. So we go to medium conifers, which is a normal pine tree, and we put on the end of each pen. Okay. Now what we can do, we can get a, another leafy tree, but the light leafy tree, not the dark green. And we can put that on the left hand side of every dark green tree. So the next one we put there and the next one there. So that's on the left of every dark green leafy tree. Okay, so now what we can do, we can get a a tall grass if we've got any yeah we got them there and we put one in there we put one in there and we can put one in there now what we can do is we will get a normal leafy tree again the light green one and we will put to the center of that pen the center of that pen and the center of that pen so as you can see now we're starting to get that lovely closed in effect which is really nice okay um so what we can do now is we get another green leafy tree dark green leafy tree and we can put there get it to go that way now this just balances it up a little bit more so now what we can do is we can some apple trees there's one there let's put these up here oh they're in they're in flower we can put one there one there and one there get another three we can go one there one there and one there right so we've got that lovely bit of red there and amongst the trees in between the pens so now what we can do is get a couple of daffodils and put one in there one in there now that just covers that little gap in between the trees there um yeah we got another leafy tree this side in there okay and then we got another daffodil there Okay, so we've now got the uh, the area around the uh, the pens, which looks quite nice. They're nicely enclosed, and they're you know it looks quite uh, quite pretty where they're all enclosed. So now what we can do, we can add a path. So we go for we go for white. Now, what do I do there first? Shall I? Yeah, we'll put that along there. So we're just putting this along here. Always plonks down where you don't want it. Let's finish this up here first. Along there, along there, along there there up there and then along to there now what we can do here we can put that to there and then we can go along there up 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 
to there. And then just put that into the back of there. Now what we can do is we can go to farming and we can get some hay bales. We can put one there, one there, one there, um, one there. We can go and get a hay cart. We can put that there and we can get some large barrels and put them in there. So what we've actually got, we've got a, we've got the animal pens. We've decorated around them. And we've also got the straw and you know, the hay and that to feed the animals. Okay. So now what we can do, we can get um, a couple more trees. I'll tell you what we could do there, which would look really nice. If we take those flowers out. because it looks just a little bit too green there so what i'm going to do i'm going to just try something a minute let's have a look have we got we'll put that one in there you watch we haven't got another one have we got another yeah we have put that in there and have we got a gold one? <laughs> Let's have a look. Yes, we've got two. Okay, so that just adds a little bit of colour. So you've got the purple either side and the golden tree in the middle. Okay. Now we can have just a, a normal row of conifers. And we just we just get the normal size ones. So we can go one there, one there, and one there. Then we can add those daffodils that we took out, if we can find them. One there, one there, and one there. Kick them right so they show better. Okay. And then what we can do is top it off with some, providing we've got them, we can go one, two, three, four, five. I hope we got enough. All around the path. Now, obviously, you can make a gap in between the flowers so that you can, you can get into the path and walk around. You can just incorporate this in, you know, into your farm. Um, and then once you've done this, um, you can make another feature with the with the other three, and so forth. So let's have a look. So there's a quick design with three animal pens it's evened up we brought the hay bales down to the bottom there just to make it a little bit more even we put a, a golden tree and some purple trees at the back there just to break up the green um, we've got some apple trees there growing in between um, with a little bit of red you know with the red apples you don't want them any bigger otherwise you'll start sort of cluttering it cluttering it all up um, and like I said, you can have the path coming out here and around. And then, you know, you can do another feature the same this side. Um, yes, it does cost a little bit with the trees and that with vouchers and, you know, but what people have got to realise is my farm has taken me years and years, you know, to save up stuff and, and buy and, and, and to get it to where it is. Um, depending on what level you are and how many coins or how many vouchers you've got, you know, take your time. And if you've got, you've got nine pens, there's three there. You can have three there and three down here. And you've got the animals beautifully all in a line there, but they're really, really nicely decorated. Um, you know, you can have another row of three at the front here or, or, or whatever, but you know, the animal, the animal pens are just a little bit, 
how can I say, they're just a little bit too much. They're, they're just a big square and there's not really a lot you can do with it. That's about the, about the best that you can do. So, you know, it just, it sort of jazzes it up, jazzes it up a little bit with the colour and the stuff and the path around the outside and the trees and that. But uh, I think that looks quite nice. So we've got the two designs and we've got the, the one design there for the, um, the Valley Deco. For that viewer, wants to know if there's anything I can do to make the Valley Deco stand out. So it's got its own little garden there. And then we've got a beautiful little design there for the animal pens, step by step. So you can copy that if you wish. Um, you can put whatever flowers you want in there, whatever colour you want. But uh, certainly that really does make the uh, the animal pens, you know, it brings them to life. It makes them stand out quite a lot there. And, it, you know, it's quite nice. So there it is. Two designs there by Scatterbrook Farm Garden Designs. Uh, like I said, if you want any help with your designs or uh, you want your farm reviewed, let me know down in the comments and I will get through them. I'm, I'm trying to do as many as I can and for, for you viewers and uh, we'll get through them. Like I say, don't don't worry if your uh, your request doesn't come up, you know, like the next day or the, the day after. I am trying to get through them sort of one by one. Um, and uh, yeah, so there it is, two designs. Design number one, and the, the quick live design there of the animal pens, which I think really stands out, really looks nice. So again, pass on the video to all your friends, hit the subscribe button, notification bell for all the up and coming videos. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps those two viewers. So until the next video, take good care of yourselves, stay safe, and we will see you very soon. Cheerio.